हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स यू आर वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल अरुण मेहता क्वालिटी टॉक टुडे आई एम इन ऊटी एंड आई एम इन वन स्ट्रॉबेरी फार्म एंड अलोंग विद मी दिस कंपनीज प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर इज देयर तो आई रिक्वेस्ट हिम टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिमसेल्फ वेलकम गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल एंड आई एम प्रवीण कुमार सर आई एम हियर वर्किंग अंडर द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर इन पर्पल पैच इंटरनेशनल प्राइवेट लिमिटेड स्ट्रॉबेरी फार्म सो दिस पर्पल पैच इंटरनेशनल लिमिटेड इज दिस कंपनी इज रनिंग सिंस हाउ मेनी इयर्स 10 इयर्स 10 इयर्स 10 इयर्स सो व्हाट आर द क्रॉप्स यू आर ग्रोइंग सर द आवर मेन क्रॉप इज कुड बी स्ट्रॉबेरी एंड लेटूस लीफी वेजिटेबल्स आर ग्रीन लेटूस पाक चाय रोमाइन parsley and something so they grow. are mainly growing uh, strawberry and other than that they are growing other exotic vegetables and where do you are selling these items in mostly in kerala and chennai and ooty also so ooty local and kerala and chennai they are dispatching all the products so uh, this is basically a poly house and you can see this entire structure this is entirely covered with uh, Poly sheets, sheets. and uh, sheets. this strawberry farm you can see this complete uh, irrigation system is there and this uh, mulching is there and specialty is this farm is that this is a hydroponic farm so you know the hydro can you explain what is hydroponic yes sir in the name itself we have to differentiate sir hydro it's a name called water. meaning water yeah. phonics it could be a plants cultivations ji yes. from that Name we have to do it with cocoa phonics, but the cocoa pit will use it for absorbing good moisture level. If you do in soil means it could be we have some issues like if it rain it could be more water, if it be drought it could be less water. But here all it could be systematic. That's why we have to use it. So this is hydroponic farm in Ooty. You have only one hydroponic farm, or other people are also having such type of farm? No sir, this only only. So one in one entire Ooty. only this company is doing cultivation of strawberry in hydroponic system he has already explained you what is hydroponic i have one question with you that uh, what is the difference between hydroponic uh, strawberry and normal strawberry in normal strawberry means we have to plant the strawberry in the soil sir in soil we had a lot of problems of pathogens disease and pest in hydroponics it could be reduced to that if you think it's strawberry it could be a lot of pest and diseases for example okay. mites grapes mealy bugs amoeba and something like that but here we have no issues because it could be comes under protected cultivation so hydroponic strawberry will have a less problems and will not have any infection pest infection diseases etc and uh, what about yield whether yield is also more or yield is same in hydroponic and normal yield is also more sir but we are giving that exact nutrients the plant recognizes sir in soil it could be lack of some nutrients micron nutrients it could be lack but here we from that fertigation system we have to give that exact nutrients for plants needed it could be used for so people are thinking that hydroponic is only just to grow in the water but actually it's not there you along with the water you have to put lot of nutrient also Can you explain along with the water what other nutrients you are putting in the in the water? Yes, sir. I will show that calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, mono potassium phosphate, sodium malonitrate, magnesium sulfate, magnesium nitrate, copper sulfate, zinc sulfate, and manganese sulfate, borax, etc. So all these uh, chemicals which he explained is mixed in the water tank, and that is mixed with the water and. Uh, irrigated Alam, along with that in this uh, crop Coco. so these uh, all the chemicals have some uh, special concentration or same yes, concentration sir. special concentration sir. for example the plant need during the vegetative growth it need more amount of nitrogen sir. that's why we have to give along the time we have to give more nitrogen sir. after that the plant we have to giving that yield no sir the fruit will require more amount of calcium potassium and boron that's why we have to increase that calcium and potassium boron quantity in the so during different uh, stages stages of crop cultivation you are changing the nutrient nutrient mixes sir. mixes yes, sir. Yes, sir. so how you find that is there some research happened somewhere yes sir we uh, along with we have to do the research also sir uh, so you are also doing your research uh, yes, and uh, you have some technical person here yes sir so he is taking all balances yes, which nutrient how much yes sir so this hydroponic cultivation you are doing since how many years 
from beginning or you recently started? Years. From so, the initial. From the initial stage. Yes, and I have seen you have a cold store also. So, and you are uh, pre-cooling the fruits also. After yes. harvesting, you pre-cool the produce and you bring to some low temperature. What temperature are you maintaining? Zero to one degree. So, zero to one degree, unless the temperature not come, you will not dispatch. Yes. So, after that, uh, when temperature will bring down to zero to one, then you are dispatching in ordinary vehicle or in a refer van? Refer van, sir. Refer van, refer because uh, otherwise there is no use of uh, no pre-cooling. Pre and what is the shelf life of uh, your fruits, strawberries? Four to five days. Four to five days, nothing will happen. But yes, if you but keep in the low temperature, then further yes, you can yeah, keep yes. up to one to two weeks, I think. Yes, so you explain here, you are telling me here uh, four different varieties are grown. Yes, sir. So can you explain this four varieties name? What is the variety name and uh, what is the differentiation in yes, that? Sir. This variety is called a Nabila variety, sir. Nebula. Nabula. This is most popular variety. Most popular variety here. So Where you are growing this here. This more. Um, so what is the second variety? Second variety, it could be Florida Beauty, sir. Florida Beauty. Beauty. You have to see the color also, it could be more red. Color is more red and also it is yes. thicker here and it's less conical. Yes, sir, less conical. Uh. It could be sweet and, sir. Okay, sweet? Sweet and. Uh, sweet and. Sweet and. Uh. It's all, all are Italian varieties. This is Three Italian variety, yes, very good. It could be sweet sensation, sir. Sweet you have to sensation. Share the shape. You have yeah. to differentiate something. Yeah. These three varieties, no, sir. Sweet and sweet sensation and Florida beauty. All it could be Italian variety. Hmm. And Nabila, it could be an American variety. We have to so, this is American variety and these three are California, California, Italian, 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 Italian varieties. Italian varieties. You can see here. So, all four, four varieties they are growing. And if you cut this, you have a knife. Can you show us after cutting how is the inside is a self color or white color? You don't have a knife? Okay, so what is the inside color of pulp color is this? It's a red in color. Red in color. Yes, I'm sure. One more thing you tell us ki, uh, when strawberry is grown on the plant, what are the four or five stages? Can you show us different stages? I will show it, sir. It could be the initial stage of flower. We have to see the pollen grains and some amount of buds. After, you have to see. This is self pollinated crop. Self pollinated crop, sir. This is self pollinated, these are the pollens and uh, it does not require cross pollination. So, first, this flower will come. This flower will come after how many days of uh, seedlings? Uh, it could be in yearly stages, sir. We have to come to under five to six days after picking. After picking? After, uh, after picking means we have to, one fruit we have to pick, sir. Uh. The same petal, the next fruit coming under five to six days. Okay. After that, what is the stage? After that, it could be seen that after fertilization, we hmm. have to see the bud formations. This is the bud formation. This will come in how many days? Come in five days, sorry. After flower. After flower, five days. Five days. Okay. After that, we have to see that the maturity stage of some amount of color change. You see this uh, white along with the red, red tinge is visible. This is now fruit will start maturing. Okay. It comes under after that, but we have to wait for some amount of. So from days. this color to this color, which is around 90-95% color, how many days it to will take? 10 to 15 days. Sir. So from this color to this color, it will reach to 10 to 15 days. So you are harvesting the fruit at this stage? Yes, sir. So they are harvesting 90 to 95% color stage. You should understand this uh, strawberry is a non-climatic crop. Non-climatic. So it will not ripe. It will not become sweeter. So they have to harvest at mature stage when it is 90 to 95 percent mature and its, its TSS is around more than 9 or 10. That time they are harvesting because after harvesting color may change because white color will convert to red but it will not become sweet. If it is sour it will remain sour. So it's very important for a strawberry for everyone to understand it's a non-climatic fruit and we have to harvest at matured stage when it is sweeter. Unripe strawberry, if it is 50% dead, 50% white, it can become red, but color, taste will not come. It will remain sour, TSS will be low. So that's very clear. Yes. Now you show us the panet, final panet. Yes. You can, how you are doing the packing? What you are putting in there, show us empty pack.
These panets we have to use the packing, sir. So this is a panet. Uh, how much quantity come? Two hundred gram. Two hundred gram. Two hundred gram. We are using the dry pads, sir, for absorbing the moisture. This is water. a dry pad, red color. They are putting below that. Below that. And this panet uh, is less thick, so only single layer of strawberry will come in that. We have to see that. So you can see products. this is end products. Finally, they put so beautiful red color ready to dispatch and you can see in the bottom dry pad is there single layer strawberry in the panet 200 gram panet is there so this type of packing they are sending to the market just to show us uh, uh, this crop also yes, sir, sure. this is a crop uh, just uh, focus here only so this uh, this is a which variety is grown nabila sir here we have you have to see that bushy nature. It's an American variety. Oh, this is a nebula variety. You can see more bushes there, bigger bush and bigger type of leaves. See, this. see the fruits. So these fruits the are fruits coming in bunches. Is. Yes, sir, bunches. You have to see that flower and buds that ripening. So in this you bunch, you can see flower is there, small bud is there, and uh, this 50%, green. 50%. 50% red color is there. This is 70% red color. Then this fruit will change to 90-95% color in 2-3 next days. You can see here, this is a, I think, ready fruit. Yes, sir. You can see here, this this, this is almost 100% red. So ready for harvest. So this is a nebula variety. Yes, sir. And here, this mulching, you are doing mulching. Yes, sir, for controlling the weeds. Sir. Uh, so mulching is basically used for controlling the weeds, weeds. and to... Absorb, uh, absorb the moisture. Moisture should not go out. out. So it should remain here. So below the mulching, which type of soil is there? No size, sir. We are using cocoa pit. Cocoa pit. Cocoa pit. So what is cocoa pit? Cocoa pit from the coconut husk, no, sir. We have to from that we have to use it. From we have to make it into chops, into small particles. We so cocoa pit it. they are making from the coconut husk. Coconut so it has a more water retention. Water retention. Capacity. It will absorb the moisture because. Okay. This crop requires a lot of moisture. A lot of, because it's a cool season crop. So also. mulching and cocoa pit helps in retaining the moisture in the strawberry. Yes. So this strawberry crops, what is season here for this crop? Entries year around, sir. We are using the so in this poly crop. house, they can do the cultivation entire year. No effect of any season, summer or winter or rainy. The entire year. This crop can be cultivated under hydrophonic system and under this poly house. So this was the nebula variety. Can you show me some other variety? Yes, sir, sir. This is some other variety. Some other Italian variety. We have to know the sweet and. You you can see that it's mentioned sweet and variety. Sweet and variety. What is difference in that, that and this? We have to see the bushy nature. You can show that this is more bush. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Hi, it's race. Yeah. So that is, you can see there's a more bush are there, and this is a less bush. So this is the difference. Difference. So nature. along with me, Mr. Suresh has also joined. <laughs> so you are manager here. Yes. So uh, before uh, Mr. Suresh, I was discussing the production. Guy now manager is there. So we can also talk to him. So we are making one uh, video for highlighting this to okay. our YouTube channel. Okay. So a lot of things, almost everything is explained. So some things is required. So two variety we have seen. What is the third variety? Third variety. Can you show? Yeah. Sweet center center. Where? Here. This one? Yes. From here. Sweet and this is sweet, sweet and this is sweet, sweet sensation. sensation. And uh, fourth one? Florida beauty. You see here also bush is small and the leaf color is also little change, red color. And here you can see in this farm one more good thing that you can see these photographs. They have put some photograph for uh, all diseases and pests, etc. and to train the labor. What are the different diseases or pest control they have to put? When something happened, what they have to add in the 
water and you can also see the harvesting is going on this uh, ladies labor is doing harvesting the good thing is this harvesting is you see that uh, the labor has wear the gloves and also they are harvesting the fruit directly to the plant in single layer and the purpose of this is less touching the fruit because strawberry is very delicate if they will touch more and more the so deterioration will faster infection can, can come so here they are using dry pad then they are putting single layer they are using labor is using the gloves and they are directly putting the into the panet general practice here is most of the people first they will pluck they will pluck all type of fruits they will put in the tray then they will do the sorting rating then they will do pre-pruning but here they have adopted new technology directly place the fruit into the panet so this is going to help the shelf life is going to help better crop reaches to the customer so i think we have seen everything here <coughs> anything is left you want to tell yeah, almost all four almost everything is over and in the last you just tell me what is the cost of this strawberry cost of the strawberry per kg per kg or per panet rate per k- currently we are selling it at 500 rupees per kg 500 rupees per kg then to near about 80 90 rupees 100 rupees 100 Actually, rupees 100 rupees, 100 rupees per panet per panet So we have two types of panet. Hmm. One we are packing in 200 grams. Uh. The other one is 250 grams. 250 grams we are giving 125, and 200 grams we are selling it for 100. So this is costly because this is a hydroponic. Uh, no, no ordinary uh, no, grown actually, hydro. That is strawberry, same rate or different rate? So uh, I'm not talking about others. Uh, my price is this. Hmm. Actually, another thing, you know. We are maintaining the quality and uh, extra care. We are doing. No, no. I am asking this question because uh, I have seen some companies are selling hydroponic uh, separate category. So all in that uh, hydroponic leafy item, especially this lettuce and palak or whatever they are growing, is whose difference? Ordinary one is selling palak fifty rupees and hydroponic is hundred fifty rupees. So I am asking this strawberry. Your rate five hundred rupees kg is costly because of hydroponic. No, not that way. Because not ours is entirely hydroponics. Hmm. So all our strawberries and greens are grown in hydroponics. So even uh, the people who are not growing in hydroponics, they are also selling in the same rate, or they're no, selling they're cheaper? also selling in the same rate. Now currently, in the market demand is huge, and that is one thing. But if I am a customer, I have one panet without hydroponic, one is hydroponic. Can I find out difference? No, I don't think so. Sir. I don't think so. so able to make out. It's very difficult to. So even these them. people will say we are going hard to penny. Yeah, maybe they can say. It. But ours is under the OC. You have seen. Ah, uh-huh. that's why we are in the farm. We have seen the practically yeah. you are doing hard to penny. But other people can say we are doing hard to penny, but they are uh, growing in the ordinary soil and ordinary soil, and you don't know what will the shelf life of that. And in fact, uh, just like in organic, organic, many people are doing real organic. And some people will not do organic, but they will say my product yes, is organic. Yes. This is the difference. It was very difficult to re- find out what is organic, non-organic what is on final crop. Yeah, so, okay. so uh, in the end, I will only say that this. Uh, I hope that you like this video today. And if you like, don't forget to press like button. And uh, if you are not subscribe my channel, please do now. my channel name is arun mehta quality talk in the end uh, i will uh, do the thanks to manager of this farm and uh, production manager till tomorrow i will bring some other video i will go to some other farm and i will bring some direct live video from other crop till then be happy remain healthy and keep watching my video in my youtube channel arun mehta quality talk thank you thank you for watching thanks